I think the vision at that time of my pre-predecessor was that Europe should uh, consolidate into big airline groups. If we look to the reality, it has happened really. And today we do have these big uh, airline groups. If we look to the benefits of, of KLM, I think the first one is, is really on the markets. I was in Brazil uh, uh, two weeks ago, and in Brazil, one out, of, one out of five passengers, one out of five Brazilians traveling to Europe is flying on Air France KLM. KLM could never have that position by itself. And, and we see a similar picture in markets like Japan or China or, 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 or the US for, for that matter. So that, that is one, is the market position. The second one is, is our partners. We are having some of the, the biggest airlines in the world being our partner, being Delta, China, Southern. So if, if we want to really partner up with these giants of aviation, we should be of a, a significant size, our size ourselves as well, something KLM alone would never be able to achieve. So being together with Air France has enabled us really to gain that critical size and critical mass. I think the third topic would be around the, uh, uh, the purchasing synergies. Our orders for the 787s and the 350s have been a common order from Air France and KLM combined. By doing so, obviously, we have a different positions towards, uh, towards our suppliers. I think a fourth topic could be around the, uh, the investment levels. If I see the amounts we need for IT, for all kind of digital infrastructure, these are huge investments, investments which are better to be shared by two parties rather than to be borne by one. So I think both on the commercial side as well as on the cost side as well as on the partnering side, we have clearly seen the benefits of such uh, consolidation.